Hello guys, I'm Sihoak here. Today I'm gonna show you the tutorial how to convert Google SketchUp SKP files to Giants Editor e 3D files. So let's get started. First things first, you gonna you need to download these four programs: Google SketchUp version 8, Python 2.6.2, Blender 2.49b and basically any version of giant editor I will uh, so go ahead and install these programs uh, the, I will show I will show you the proper way to install the blender 2.49 b so double click on the setup click yes uh, click next uh, you can read this license argument or basically click I agree Select component, I will just add desktop shortcut. Select destination folder, you can click here, you can click the pros button and select any other folder to, if you want to install. I will leave it to the C program files. Next, uh, the Blender user data files are strongly recommended that you use the install directory basically it will, it will it will be easier to find and then we click next and it starts the install program basically system uh, will checks for DLLs DLL files and there it is we successfully installed the program we'll uncheck this option to run Blender to for 49B and there it is. Then I will show you how to in how to manually put the script in inside the Blender folder to make it multi compatible. Basically, it has unlimited options, whichever you put uh, the script. Basically, you will need this PC game to download. Farming Simulator 2011 Platinum Edition or basically you use the Platinum Edition in this case basically we're going to go to the location where you install it in my case this is the C program files Farming Simulator 2011 open the SDK files and there it is we got Blender E3D export Giants uh, setup of the program Giants Editor. You can also use this version for this tutorial. Ma uh, for Max as AC 3D, I believe, and Maya E3D export. Uh, once we found the uh, the location of the Blender E3D export, we'll now open uh, the install program uh, install folder of blender program so basically we, in my case this is the uh, C program files blender foundation blender and you will need this if you follow the install uh, if you basically if you follow this insta uh, installation that I show you recently you will get this folder folder uh, point blender open it then open the scripts and this this is where you need to put the blender a 3 dx basically we'll open the zip file of blender a 3 d export folder and there it is the script uh, for blender basically we'll in this case we use the drag drop method basically left click hold hold the left click and drag it to this folder this is basically uh, I, in my case I installed it on the C I just press continue and there it is now we're gonna open the Google SketchUp program we'll basically can or you want you basically remove the person in front um, 
then you create a model I will use the model that I, that I have created uh, later there it is then go to the file export 3d model and uh, choose your destination I will leave it in desktop I will put uh, the file name test and I'll strongly recommend that you leave the Google Earth file point KMZ uh, click export you will see the progress bar and when, and when it comes to 100% it's done we, and then we're gonna close it there it is you can open this uh, KMZ file with WinRAR I don't know if you can it will uh, I don't know if you can open it with 7-zip or any other archives I use it to win RAR I'll open it just double click it extract to click OK then we're gonna open the extract folder we're gonna you, you will have these two file uh, KML file and folder file called models open the form folder models and there you have the untitled point .dae file and uh, folder untitled which it has the texture version then we're gonna open the folder uh, the program blender and when it's opened go to the file import colada 1.4 plugin basically the Colada 1.3 it doesn't work so basically all. then you will need to go to the destination that you have exported your SKP file in my case it's desktop test models and untitled point DA uh, when you select it it will show you under the destination right here then click import DAE and then import and close for a longer ver uh, from the big models that have lots of texture you will need sometimes to uh, to import so basically this takes a little bit basically two minutes basically two or two, two, two three minutes tops When it's done, you have this import successful, and basically you'll just need to move your mouse. Then we'll gonna do. Basically, you can scroll down. You see your model. Then we'll use file export. Oh, sorry about that. File export. Ch uh, Chines in brackets e3d files. Click it. Uh, leave everything like there is click uh, base for this right here click everything like there is click browse and then go to the destination folder where you exported the SKP files in my case desktop test models and basically we'll use the folder that has all the texture then open the folder and there you have texture one three or four basically you don't uh, you can't click on anything or this you will have to do the whole process again so basically click OK and click export scene the progress you can see here yeah. uh, and there it is it, uh, it says that it's finished time estimate 35.1 I don't know it's seconds right when it says uh, basically you'll um, I'm sorry you'll have to uh, have another line here that has exported to so basically just wait a bit wait. there it is exported to C user file basically when uh, when it says that then it's finished now all we need to do is exit 
the blender we can use that X go to the folder that you have exported the SKP file open models open untitled if you use if you previously installed the giants it editor it will have this icon but if you haven't installed the giants editor you will have um, basically uh, a white a white uh, you basically have an icon that's uh, that um, looks like a plain sheet of uh, plain uh, a paper basically a paper then uh, but but back where we where we left off uh, basically here you will need to select it right click rename and basically put uh, the name of your model basically you'll just need to put a name you don't have to use point i3d file then if you satisfy click and uh, press enter on your keyboard then sometimes it has pro uh, you will maybe have problems with this texture that won't load up I have solution for this. Right click and click uh, open this i3d file with notepad that you will re that you received when you installed the Windows operating system. In my case I use uh, the notepad++ version. I will also put uh, the link download link uh, in the description of this program. And now basically you you'll just delete this as uh, this ASS ETS and break the bracket you'll you'll need to delete that basically it will just says texture so go ahead and delete that and basically when you done that you'll just need you will click this uh, disk disk and this cat that says safe and we're gonna close it to the X and there it is thanks guys for watching this video uh, click like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time bye